Dr. Govinda Pavenkataswamy was 58 when he founded Aravind. When it first started, the hospital had 11 beds. Its mission was the eradication of needless blindness. Today, it is the largest and most productive eye care facility in the world. See, McDonald's concept is simple. They feel they can train people all over the world, irrespective of different religions, different culture, different all those things, to produce a product in the same way and deliver it in the same manner in hundreds of places. He kept talking about McDonald's and hamburgers, and none of it made any sense to us. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to create a franchise, a, a, a mechanism of delivery of eye care with the efficiency of McDonald's. There are now five Aravind eye hospitals in South India. They are all self-sustaining and together they see over 1.4 million patients and perform over 200,000 sight restoring surgeries each year. two-thirds of its services are free. At Aravind, every patient who can pay covers costs for two who cannot. Because of their high numbers, the revenue from paying patients not only covers costs for Aravind's free services, but also generates a surplus that funds all growth and expansion. All the hospitals send medical teams into the villages. Patients requiring surgery are brought back to the base hospital where they receive food, lodging, treatment, and return transport, completely free of charge. Close to 50% of all the patients Aravind treats are sought out and brought back to the hospital through these screening eye camps. And I don't insist upon that that man must pay me before I do anything for him. I said, give the sight man, let him give whatever he can give. If he has cannot afford, it doesn't matter, he can give later. So prayer it is for human welfare. The paramedical team at Aravind forms the backbone of the system. These young women are recruited from villages around Madurai and are trained in refraction testing, ward and theatre duty, counselling and housekeeping. They had so much of respect to the patient and they were willing to do any type of work for the patient. And they were also willing to share with us in the dream of the hospital. That is how our program started. So from 1976 onwards till today, every year we take about 100 girls from the village. Four highly trained paramedics assist each doctor, thus optimizing the surgeon's time and skill. In this way, a doctor at Aravind averages over 2,000 surgeries a year against a national average of 220. Doctors are not paid extra because they are doing more operation. But the other way it helps also. Ours is a teaching institution. The more patients are there, the better the training can be. Uh, we all know ophthalmologists are a premium in this country. We are only 10,000 to 11,000 ophthalmologists for a billion population. So we have to be much more productive to meet the demands of the people. So, and Arvind has pioneered a system that helps us to do high volume work. And I think it's a work in progress. We have reached probably 40-50% of what one could do. This is the intraocular lens production facility which we started in 1992 with support from Seva Foundation in the US. This is the intraocular lens which we produce here and this lens serves as a substitute lens once we remove the natural cataract lens from the eye. In the early 90s, there were no eye oil manufacturers in India. We had to import lenses from the West. At that time, each lens was costing around $200. They were not affordable in most developing countries. So we devised our own methods of making lenses up to international standards 
and we were able to sell them at about five dollars a piece. Today we manufacture a wide range of ophthalmic products as well and we are exporting them to over 85 countries around the world. Supposing I'm able to produce eye care techniques, methods and all those in the same way and make it available in every corner of the world, the problem of blindness is gone.